look at these big bad ribs. Woo! I'm gonna show you how to get that right here on QCR. Hey everybody, welcome back to QCR. Today on QCR, we're gonna be making these beef back ribs. They are gonna be so good. These, uh, I picked these up at the store. It's about four pounds, costs about $9. There's two little racks in here. So we're gonna cut them open and we're gonna check them out. Got our handy dandy little knife here. Cut these bad boys open. All right, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer. All right guys, so we got our back ribs right here in our little pan. We're gonna trim on them just a little bit. All right, so you don't really wanna to trim too much off. But, and there's a, uh, on the back here, we don't need to trim that little film off like pork ribs. Pork ribs need to trim that off here. I'm gonna kind of leave it on. I don't know if this is it or not. There's an the extra piece. Fat. So there's not much trimming to be done on here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna season these bad boys up. So first we're gonna start with some salt. Put a little bit of salt on there. Put some pepper on there. Just regular old black pepper. We're gonna do this on both sides. Next, we're gonna use this Jack Daniels steak seasoning. I'm gonna put this on our ribs. It's gonna be good. Make sure you get enough. Don't wanna short yourself. Next. We're gonna use dry smoking rub. Oh, this one fell off. So, put some of that on here. Make sure you get plenty on here, guys. You're gonna want plenty. Ooh, yeah, that's good. You gotta make sure you do both sides, guys. Both sides. Salt and pepper. Jack Jam steak seasoning. That. And our dry rub. Make sure you get plenty on there, guys. Plenty on there. All right, we're not gonna put any brown sugar. We don't want our beef ribs to be like pork ribs. We don't want them sweet. We want them flavorful and awesome. So, this is what they look like. We're gonna take them out of this pan, put them on the rack. Let's go outside, let's get our fire going. And then uh, we'll let these hang out for about 30 minutes. Absorb a little bit of this wonderful flavor while we're getting our fire going. All right guys, so today we got our pecan wood. Just a little bit, little pieces. We're gonna put them in here and we're gonna get it going. All right, you can see it's already starting to smoke up real good. We're gonna come up here, put our ribs on this rack right here. I'm gonna slam our ribs right here and uh, see what happens. All right guys, I got them in the smoker. See the smoke boiling at it right there. Um, we're gonna let it go for about two hours. I'm gonna check on them every hour. Check them on an hour, check on the next hour. Pull them out, put them as a foil. Put some more seasoning in there, maybe a little bit of butter. Put them back in here, like maybe another hour. Then they're gonna be so delightful. It's gonna pull right off of the bone. You're gonna love it. Give me a thumbs up, guys. All right, everybody. It's been two hours. This is what we got here. We're gonna take them out of here. I just put them in here to carry them into the kitchen. We're gonna take them out, take those ribs right there, put them inside this aluminum foil. Make two different pouches out of them. Here's pouch one. So we're gonna take our Kerrygold Pure Irish Cream Butter Put a little bit of butter in there with it. Mm -hmm. Right there on top. It'll melt down and spread around everywhere. We're not gonna put any sugar in here. We're not gonna put any brown sugar. We don't want it sweet. We wanna have all the flavor in there. These aren't pork ribs. I said that before, they're beef ribs. So we're just gonna wrap them up. 
that. Push that up. smoker just like this and actually I'm going to take this out of here I'm not putting this in there it gets too messy so let's see what happens alright guys so we're back inside just pulled them out see here what we got look at this look at that got the bone sticking out here on the side these ones right here aren't as meaty not as meaty a little chingale on there yeah a little chingale on that piece but there's Big old meaty pieces right here. Look at that, guys. All right, I'm gonna get my knife. We're gonna cut it open. Let's cut this bad boy open right here. Got my handy dandy knife here, made by Pioneer Woman. I'm not the Pioneer Woman. Oh, wow. Cut right through it. Cut right through it, guys. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot on my finger. Cut right through that. Look at this piece. Whoo, almost fell off. Mmm, look at that. Alright guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Look at this big juicy piece of rib here. Is it not the most wonderful thing you ever seen? Look at that. Dark color, bones pulling back right here. This is eight dollars, almost nine dollars for eight pieces of bone. This small one's a little chinky, not a lot on there. Ooh, I'm dripping on the floor. All right, we're gonna take a big old bite out of this, see what happens. Mmm. That's so good. So much flavor. Pull right off the bone. Mm. Guys, this right here. That's where it's at. If you have a little party, a little get together, eight, nine bucks at Walmart right here for these big beef ribs. Way better than the pork ribs. Um, look at that. Look right here. Look at how good that food looks right there, guys. Look, look at my fingers. Mm. Got seasoning. Now that's some good stuff. Let's get a small piece. Let's see if the small piece has turned out good. Oh, I didn't even cut that one. I just tore it right off. Mmm, dang it. That's really good stuff right there, guys. I have a mustache look on, so let's get a side profile is uh, no oh man give me two thumbs up guys these best ribs they're amazing I just want paper towels uh, let's recap what I did one cut the package open two Season them up. Salt, plenty of salt, plenty of pepper. Jack Daniels steak rub. Four, I put some dry smoke rub on it. Put it on the smoker. 225 degrees, maybe 250. Maybe it dropped down to 200 for a little bit when I'm not paying attention. Did it an hour, come back out. 
Put it over. Put it back in. One more hour. Uh, Bar them inside. Wrap them with some aluminum foil. Separate though. One rack over here, one rack over there. Put some butter in there. Back out on the smoker. One more hour. 225 degrees or so. Put them out. Put them in here on the counter. Dump the juices back onto them on my cutting board here. Let's look at the cutting board. Dump the juices back on there. Look at that. Zoom in again. Oh, goodness. Look at all that awesomeness right here. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. All that wonderful goodness right there. Man, that's good stuff, guys. So I dump the juice on here. Cut it open for y'all. Cut it open. This is where we're at. Um, if you like my video, give me two of these little, well, you can only give me one. Give me a little thumb, or you can give me this thumb. Hit the subscribe button, bottom left corner down here. Well, your right side, my left side. Um, subscribe, show your friends. Tell everybody how awesome I am. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel. Nine dollars for the rib. You already have the seasons in your cabinet over here. Put them on. Don't be scared of it. Make it happen. Uh, you're always getting it. Got it. My getting it apparel. Always getting it. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.